Professor Baldwin here, and today we're going to go over a really quick and brief review of circles. The equation of a circle with its center at the point HK and with a radius R will follow this format. So in example one, we need to find the equation for the circle that satisfies the given conditions. The center is at the point 2, 3, and the radius is 5 thirds. Well, if the center is 2, 3, that means our h and k are h equals 2 and k equals 3. And our radius, or r, is 5 thirds. So we take that given format, h, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we're going to substitute in what we know. So the x and the y will stay. First we have x minus h or x minus 2 squared plus y minus k which is 3 squared equals our r 5 thirds squared. Then we need to simplify. But the only thing we need to simplify here is the right hand side where we have to square the radius. And 5 thirds squared, you square the numerator, 25, and you square the denominator, 9. So there we have the equation for a circle with center at 2, 3, and a radius of 5 thirds. Okay, what if you just know two points that are at the ends of the diameter of a circle? Well, I like a visual. So here's my circle. The diameter would be a line that goes from one side to the other. That means we have these two points. So we can find the center, which is in the middle or the midpoint of those two given points. So we need the midpoint. So we need to use our midpoint formula. And remember, midpoint formula, your x-coordinate you add the given x-coordinates and divide by 2. And your y-coordinate, you do the same thing. Add the y-coordinates and divide by 2. So our x-coordinate is 7 minus 3, 4 over 2. And our y is 2 over 2. That simplifies to the point 2, 1. Okay, so let's make note. Our center is going to be 2, 1. So we know the point of our center. Now we need to know the radius. So the radius is half of the diameter. Well, how do you find the radius, which is this whole value? Well, the radius is the distance between these two points. So we can find our radius used using the distance formula. And the distance formula is the square root of the difference between two points. So we'll use this point x, y, and we'll use our center. So the difference between that is 7 minus 2, the difference between the x values, squared, plus the difference between the y values, 13 minus 1 squared. 7 minus 2 is 5, so we have 5 squared plus 13 minus 1, 12 squared. So that equals the square root of 25 plus 144, which is the square root of 169, which is equal to 13. So I'll make a note up here by our center, our radius equals 13. Now we go back and we look at the equation for a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now we substitute in what we know, x minus h, which is 2 squared, plus y minus k 1 squared equals 13 squared. The left stays the same, 
and the right hand side we need to square 13 which is 169 and there we have the equation for the circle just by given the two endpoints of the diameter now what if you're given an equation for a circle and you're asked to graph it by hand well recall what the equation for a circle looks like it's x minus h squared plus at y minus k squared equals r squared well first we can find the center the center is the point h k and here h is being subtracted from x what number has to be subtracted from x in our given equation negative four and our k is the value subtracted from y and for our given equation that's negative five then we can find the radius we know that r squared is equal to nine right or r is equal to plus or minus the square root of three square root of nine i already did the math in my head so the radius is equal to a positive three right radius is a distance so it needs to be a positive value okay all we need is the center and the radius and we can graph this by hand it is not going to be pretty though so first plot your center at negative four negative five there's our center then you can use your radius which is three units to find some other points okay so I have these four outer points and I'm gonna hope since I'm recording that I can actually draw a circle and not some weird shape pretty good okay so if you have to graph a circle by hand find your center find your radius plot the center count out a couple places for your radius and just relax and hopefully you end up with a circle and not this blob that i drew but you get the idea it looks like a circle i hope this was helpful and a good review of circles if you have a question or a problem you want help with leave it in the comments and i'll include it in a video thanks